everyone. Tonight we're following on from last night's question, which deviated a little as it was meant to be, will Meghan Markle become a superhero? As she's asked her agent to find her a role, apparently. And it accidentally led to a possible discovery between Meghan and the wife of Benedict Cumberbatch, Sophie Hunter. And I had no idea if the two knew each other. So I would very much like to thank both Linda and Lorraine for clarifying and illuminating me on the fact that there is a connection. And Sophie does have a connection to the royal household. So thank you ladies very much. That's helped a lot with this reading. I'll still try and keep it under 10 minutes. So we may do another one tomorrow night. This first very positive reading is How Did Meghan and Sophie Meet? We get the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the King of Wands as the foundation card. So they met as a result of... The Ten of Pentacles could indeed be the Royal Family, because I didn't specifically ask about the royals, it's to do with inherited wealth or a legacy, legacy something that can be passed down generation to generation. We have two home cards here with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. You've got the Three of Cups, so you've got almost the engagement card, the wedding card, the legacy card, and underneath the King of Wands as a foundation, he's a man who is very, he likes to be centre stage. Um, there's no getting away from the energy of the King of Wands. So it could be the royal family, they met through there, um, but it does look like they had a very good time before, in the reading yesterday, before things went wrong. How did they meet? It looks like it could have been a wedding or a family. Um, because I believe Megan, not Megan, sorry, because I believe Sophie and Benedict's wedding was private, I don't know if Megan may have been one of the guests or it was someone up, but it's someone to do with a lot of inherited wealth. And this is their name going down through generations. So again, their relationship looks very positive. Then I asked, did Megan ask Sophie to do anything for her. We get the Five of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Tower, and Foundation card is the Ace of Cups. So it definitely, it has gone wrong. The Ace of Cups would suggest, if it isn't giving birth physically, it's giving birth to an idea, being creative. So there, there was the initial something Megan wanted to be done, but she only turned to Sophie out of two reasons. One, she was the only one who would help her, or the other suggestion with it being five of pentacles and pentacles tangible is that Sophie might have done something cheaply for her. Not in a cheap way, but we do know that Megan does not like to pay full price for things. So maybe that's why that popped out. It can be, it can be poverty, it can be isolation. So did she turn to Sophie? She did because her circumstances have changed. It's a number five and Megan was left isolated and turned to Sophie. The King of Swords, if that is Sophie, suggests that she turned to her with... Sophie was the one who had the skills required in her field. The King of Swords would also fit with yesterday's reading, Justice, as the King of Swords usually represents a solicitor, a lawyer. Justice hasn't come out tonight, but we do have... King of Swords, he is also detached. She went to her because there would be no physical or emotional attachment. It could be done with clear rational thinking. 
but it is not going to end well. It, the lid is going to come off. Whatever Sophie did for Megan, it will be exposed. And I, I still can't help, I know it's in, I think, well, all the decks of these, the crown. The crown on the top of the tower is blown off. Again, it's a major card. And it's in the future. Now, if you're doing readings at home, try not to worry too much about the tower in the future. It is not the best place for it to be. But if you're aware of it, you can take steps to stop it from happening. In this reading, it looks like it is inevitable. Maybe it's even been pushed forward with Meghan coming back to the UK. And I couldn't think of a connection between the two, so I have been trying to do as much research on Google today, and yes, I am stunned with what I've found out. I also must say that I will not be doing reading specifically regarding children, so if anyone else sees cards that represent new life, and children, then please come to your own conclusions as that's not something I feel comfortable putting on video. Thank you. So the next question is, do Megan and Sophie both have a connection with Harvey Weinstein? Is it Weinstein? Weinstein. And the reason that I ask this one is because going over all the information, I remembered that Benedict had asked for Harvey Weinstein to be nominated in the Ice Bucket Challenge, as well as Kylie Minogue. Couldn't get more different people, I think. And then I found several more links to Sophie and Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein, Weinstein. Mm -hmm. So we've got the High Priestess, the Empress, Queen of Pentacles, and the Chariot underneath. So instantly, it's, that's a brilliant reading. We have three major cards. They're two very sexual women, very confident. The chariot underneath is the foundation card, suggests that they, they were very determined to come out of this and their connection to Harvey would be for finances, to make themselves financially independent. Then my last question was, will Sophie break a non-disclosure agreement? And we get the Seven of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and Foundation card is the Shadow Side, otherwise known as the Devil. So at the moment, it looks like a no. She isn't breaking it right now and hasn't broken it. She is fending off questions, and she is, yes, yeah, she's keep, if they're, just suppose the other ones are reporters, she is pushing them away with her wand, keeping them at a distance. The Two of Swords suggests a stalemate. It can be keeping quiet. It can also mean she has to make a decision about whether to go public or not. Now those two would suggest she definitely hasn't gone public with any information so far or broken an NDA. But because the foundation card is the shadow side, it is either her own, Sophie's own mental turmoil and anguish that's causing her to make a decision, which means in the future it looks like yes. And if she does break it, it will be very quick and speedy. The, with the Eight of Wands, you look for clarifying cards around it. And we do get, I'll call it the Devil, as I, I know it's confusing in other decks. So we have the Devil, and right on top of that, we have the Tower, Emotional, Ace of Cups. So I would say the Eight of Wands, then, yes, it does look like she is making a decision which is being very heavily influenced by the devil, the shadow side, it is causing a great deal of angst. But yes, we certainly can expect 
to see some truths being told and maybe being come out. So I've just gone over 10 minutes. It will take ages to upload. I do hope this has clarified things a little bit for everyone and if you'd like me to expand on more readings, I'll do so tomorrow. Again, big thanks to Linda and Lorraine for your information. I'm very grateful. Many blessings, Elizabeth.